Oh, hello everybody. My name is Doug and uh, I'm an owner of uh, one of these Google Nexus 7. This is a 2013 model and I've experienced what a lot of people experience and that is the battery is so dead you cannot start the device. Now you probably visited Google's website and they tell you how you press these buttons here on the side down. If you press them long enough while you charge up the device uh, it should go into a, a reboot mode and you can recover it. Unfortunately, my battery is so dead it cannot do that. Uh, you've probably even seen some uh, videos on YouTube where you could uh, open up the back here. And uh, there's a slot here, which I'll show you later, for the battery that it came loose. But unfortunately, my uh, battery connection was not loose. But I did discover a way on how you can fix this thing up to get it to work. Now, just to let you know, I already repaired this, so this does work. But I'll go through the steps on how to do it. Fundamentally, what you need to do is you need to jump start that battery. Your battery inside here is so dead that uh, the last time it worked, it didn't even properly go through the boot down sequence or the shutdown sequence. So what you need to do is to give it enough juice so that it could finish that shutdown sequence. Now what you would need to do is to open it up, I'll show you that, and basically externally jump start that battery because you're not going to get it recharged through the battery, the USB port over here. So the first thing you need to do is to pry open this plastic back cover. You've probably seen other videos doing this. It's not actually that difficult. All you need is a screwdriver, a flathead, a thin one, and, uh, and pry it around the edges. Um, it's actually just done by plastic uh, clips here. So you can see over here if I... See it's already loose. Mine is uh, pried open so many times. And then here you go. So here it is. We take off the back. And here it is, it's the battery. Now this here is the battery. This is the connection into the, the tablet. You can actually pull it up. There's another gentleman who showed you that this could become loose, which wasn't my case, at least not the reason why it won't charge. But you can see you have it here. So what we want to do now is we want to send power directly into this battery. Um, we want to unplug it. We don't want to da damage the circuitry of the tablet, but we want to send power directly in there. And how we do that is we're going to get a USB cable, one that you don't need. Um, now I'm going to actually unhook this, but basically what you do is that you, you find a USB cable that you don't need. For example, you probably have a lot of these lying around. You're going to cut it. And uh, when you cut it, you can see that the USB port here, so this can plug into a computer or a charger, has uh, different wires inside. Uh, there's two, the black and the red. That's the ones that you need. You don't need the others. The others are data and ground. You need the black and the red, and this supplies 5 volts of power. So now what I did do is I got a wire stripper here. So in addition to cutting it, because when you cut it, it just looks like this, as you can see on this side. Um, what you would need to do is to use a wire stripper and, uh, and strip it. And then uh, you would take the black and the red. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to take this black and red when it's powered up and plug it into the black and the red over here. Now you can see that there are two blacks and two reds. Now. Um, I've read on the internet that uh, there's two cells inside and that's the reason. I, I don't know if that's true, but it's important to match it. So what it is is that the outside ones is the first cell. The second one, the second black and the second red on the inside is the second cell. So you would recharge it that way. You would recharge the outside black and red and then the inside uh, black and red as well, uh, one at a time. Now, uh, I read many uh, uh, internets that uh, all you need is to charge it for a minute. I actually charged it for half an hour per cell and uh, and it worked fine. It was only up to about 16% or 20% so you're certainly not going to overdo it if you only charge it for half an hour and at the same time the battery didn't even uh, turn warm. So let me show you how you can connect this up. Uh, one thing that I should mention is that uh, if you were to uh, peel off this uh, battery from the back which I can do right now. You can see here it actually says it's uh, 3.7 volts. Now uh, a USB coming in is actually 5 volts so you can see there's a discrepancy. But I can tell you that when you plug it in and use a voltmeter and measure it as I did you actually get 3.7 volts 
and I have not uh, damaged my battery. I've tried it about three, four times, maybe even five times uh, to recharge it up again uh, for about half an hour per cell and, uh, and it's fine. It, it did not get damaged either time. So here we go. Uh, this here was a wire stripper. This was what I used to, to strip these wires out so that I have it bare. What you would also want is alligator clips. Now I have uh, alligator clips here to show you. So you want to put one on the red. You want to put another alligator clip. I have uh, another one here. Here it is. You want to put another one here on the um, on the black, and make sure they don't touch. Otherwise, you will short circuit uh, the charger. So you can see that over here. And um, oops, you can see there how you can quite easily. There we go. So we've got the black and the red. And then if you don't have anything, what you can use on the opposite side is just uh, uh, a paper clip. Um, I don't really recommend this, but uh, you know it, it works. And if you don't have any thin wires, a uh, paper clip is, is just as good. So we would uh, have it here. Okay, and after you charge both cells, so both the outside and the inside, um, you can go ahead and carefully unplug it from your computer or your whatever power source. And again, make sure these don't touch and, and short circuit. You can put this away. And now it's time to plug this thing back in inside. So you can see here we're going to plug it back. Carefully plug it. Make sure that uh, it's uh, seated properly. The battery seated properly. And uh, we can put this uh, over here. It just clips on. Okay, and there you go. Now, when I press it, mine's going to start because I've already repaired this. But what you would need to do is you would need to plug it into the uh, USB charger, and uh, you again would need to press um, both the power and the volume rocker both of them down and you got to hold it for about 20 seconds oh you can see it starts here that's what you would get you would use this uh, volume as a toggle and go to power off actually I might as well do that here and now it would properly power off now you've got to remember now our battery has just enough juice to finish that set shutdown sequence that it wasn't able to do before and that's why I say it's analogous to jump starting your battery in your car um, at this point after it properly shuts down when you press um, it should come back up you can see this uh, this tablet is now working and it's now working properly see it's booting it's booting fine there you go give this a try and uh, make me a comment to tell me if this works